and then by that time the energize will kick in and i'll drop some truth bombs so it'll be worth it <laughs> okay so our level up leadership call for early saturday morning um today we're just going to talk about kind of hold on let me get my notes not kind of we are going to talk about follow-up um and kind of this mentality of like pushing till the very end because at the end of the month is when people start to doubt themselves and they start to think well maybe it's not going to happen um you know maybe maybe success club just isn't going to happen this month or you know maybe emerald just you know maybe next month but honestly guys it's like the 20th and i have had i've made more miracles happen in the last and Brenna can definitely tell you, like when we were pushing for one star, she like signed up three people on the final day to start qualifying. So, um, and like, I remember last year when I was like, if I literally was like, if God, or I don't know, I don't say, I don't have phrases with God, but like, if, <laughs> you know, like if nothing else happens, like I have to make success club every single month. And there were months that on the final day I was like, crying to Brenna and I called them the Hail Mary passes. I was like sending out Hail Marys to anybody and was like, if you buy today, I will send you a gift in the mail. <laughs> and, and I did that multiple times um, because, you know, it, it takes some time to get momentum, but we're going to restate our why right now. Um, I want us to, I'm doing this because I want, us to get comfortable saying it out loud, um, saying it right now, we're saying it to a group of people, but ultimately if you want to build an empire in this business, I truly think that some people have joined our team because of things I've said about wanting to grow something bigger. I don't think everyone joins because of that, but I do think that, and I know like Brenna specifically signed a coach once because she was talking about building something from the ground up and uh, a coach like could have joined with, um, you know, a bigger top coach that she follows um, and decided that she was like, I want to build this with Brenna. Um, and it's funny because for a while I was like, why would someone want to join? I was thinking so limited mind, limiting mindset. I was like, why would anyone want to join our team when they could join like Ashley Molstead or like, you know, Bonnie Engel and a girl who's been watching my stories. I messaged her. She's been, I've been messaging her and she finally messaged me back and was like, actually, I'm already a coach. And, you know, I signed up with a top coach and I'm just kind of lost. And I was like, who, because I'm so nosy. I was like, who did you sign up with? And she was like, Ashley Molstead. And she was like, she has great resources and stuff. She's like, but she says that she can't give you the, like any, any, one-on-one -on -one time until you become diamond. And so she's like, I feel really lost. And so then I was like, no, like people have the advantage of growing our team because you still have to build your business here or there and it doesn't matter. So the advantage is like, we have this like really awesome community. And anyways, part of that. And I think part of not only us building this empire, but you then starting to build your own, you know, starting little empire that grows into a big empire is stating your why and your mission and like, why are you doing this and what, what is like your end goal? Um, so we're going to do that. So for me, um, I, I just wrote it on my six, well, not just, but my successful tracker sitting here and, you know, I want to build an empire of women who want to change and who want more and, my why is that I want to come out of struggle. I've never, I feel like I've always struggled in one shape or form. Like, you know, it was either working full time, struggling to, you know, pay the bills or struggling where like we're moving all over the place. Um, you know, now it's, I'm very, I'm so very grateful that I serve and that I have coaching to bring an in income so that I can be home with the kids. But, you know, still we have bills stacked up and I'm just, I'm so sick of that because that goes back to my mom having the wallet of credit cards that she would pay one, use one card to pay another card, you know, and like, what card are we going to put groceries on? And, and that anxiety of just like wanting to live my life and not have to worry about that. And, um, so that's my why. So who would like to go next? Yeah. <laughs> 
I'll go as long as no one looks at me. I'm just kidding. Um, so on my success the tracker, I change my why every week because I'm focusing on a specific why. So I'll just talk about my general why. Um, so the reason why I love this business is because, and why I do it is because I want women to feel as good about themselves as I do now in comparison to the woman that I was four years ago. Um, I really felt like helpless and out of control and super unhappy in who I was and who I, and who I felt I was. Um, and over the last four years, I felt like I've become this person that I have a lot of respect for, that I love, that I appreciate who I am and the body. I'm in and you know where I've come from um, and so I do this because I love giving women that empowerment and that feeling because um, that's something that if I didn't have that I don't know where I would be in my life I, I really don't feel like I would be able to be like the wife and the mom and the person that I am if I hadn't found that so that's like my why why I love this business and why I'm passionate about it um, but then my why for like my empire um, is because I'm somebody who I went into a field wanting to help people and wanting to, but also wanting to travel and like live my life and be able to do all the things I've always wanted to be able to do. I like FOMO in life in general. Like I would always say yes to everything because I like to be able to do all the things. Um, and in the profession I have in the, in the, um, in the field that I'm in, I don't feel that I'm truly helping people and I don't feel like I can do all the things. I get very tired of having to clock in and clock out and work with people I don't enjoy and being told what I'm going to do and when I'm going to do it. It's like a very stubborn inner child person inside me who hates that shit. So that is my overall why I no longer want to feel like I have to um, rely on anybody else. Um, and I also want to feel like I'm genuinely doing something I love doing. And I've always been searching for that. Um, and I thought I was going to find that in social work and I didn't. Um, but I have found that in this business. So that is my way. Yeah. Uh, Danica. Okay. <laughs> I was like, she's still muted. I don't, but anyway, my why, um, my passionate why is a lot like Brenna's. Like I want to help women build up their confidence while simultaneously building up my own confidence and just sort of join a tribe and, you know, just have that connection and um, connections, I guess. But, you know, my why isn't as financially driven because I have a full-time job where I make good money now. The, the problem for me is that pharmacy is nothing like I was hoping it would be. I was hoping it would be a lot more like helping people and talking to people and it's just very, um, corporate and there's a lot of politics involved and I am not enjoying it as much. So I'm looking for, I don't know, more passion in my life and just something I can look forward to doing. And, you know, that's kind of what I'm finding here. Is I'm just more passionate. I want to wake up and talk to girls about this and, um, yeah, that's kind of why I'm doing it. I love it. I love it. And I, I think I've said this before, but I just typed in the chat. I was like, oh, cause we're in this like diamond and above training and Keisha just went live and like dropped so many truth bombs. Cause she was in the same spot. Like she did not have a fine, like, she's like, some people built their business, like with their back against the wall. She's like, I didn't like, I had a great job. <laughs> I had a great, I have a great boyfriend. She's like, she's like, but I really wanted to make impact. And she's like, so um, it was like you either, she didn't say this, but then the other person said like, you either build this business on desperation or inspiration. And, and so like yours is, so Keisha is where I think you should live in the YouTube, like <laughs> where she drops all the truth bombs of like hustling, um, because you have not have it all, but like you have a good job and like, you're just doing more. It's not, it's different. So I love your why. And I, love it. I share I share that video in my team page specifically oh, because I felt like when she talked about the side hustle and a lot of that, she appealed to so many people that most of my girls are building this business. You know, if, even if you're home with kids, like that to me, just as much of a full-time job, but also like going back to work now and doing it in the cracks of legit a full-time job, 
she was able to kind of, and she's done some really great trainings about that, how to make it work with time. But that call specifically afterward, I like commented, like, I'm way more obsessed with you than I, she probably thinks I'm so creepy. I met her a few times and I always <laughs> like, hug her and I'm like, yeah, we know each other. We're on the same team. It's fine. We're like best friends. Don't worry about it. Um, she, she built her business to six figure in six months which is like crazy but and she like didn't work Saturdays like she was no, just like two or three hours a day just super focused time yeah like ridiculously focused she was like I <clears throat> yeah she did and like I well, freaking ate up she like shared her schedule she 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 shares her schedule in the beach body champions like how she does it she's like I just do it. She's like, I just plan it out and I'm super intentional. And then like certain times, like dinner time with her uh, boyfriend was like off the clock, but then like from this, so it was, it was really good. She built it um, really smart. She's okay. my inspiration for my life right now. Yeah. That's how we're living. <laughs> for sure. Okay. Tiffany or Danielle, whoever wants to unmute first. Okay, I unmuted myself. <laughs> Excuse, it might be a little loud because I have kids running around right me right now. Okay, go, go, go. Um, but my why is because um all through life growing up, I was always told that I can't do this, I can't do that because of my um because I have a lot of mental illnesses. And I was always told that I can't do it, I can't do it. And and um, my biggest why was in 2015, I had my youngest kid and he is autistic. And I wanted to prove to him and show him that with hard work, you can accomplish anything, no matter if you have a disability or not. And so I just want to be a good role model for him to show him that no matter what his dream is, it's he, he can accomplish it by finding ways that will work for him. And another reason why I did this business was because I always like loved working out, but I never knew how to work out or how to stay focused with working out. And I love the accountability groups because you guys are always like cheering people on. And, and I've always learned, like I always was the type of person that I'd fall off the wagon and I'd beat myself up for it. And I'd be like, all right, I'm done. I'm throwing in the towel. I'm not going to join again. I'm not going to do it again. But I've learned that, like, no matter if I have a bad day and I don't get my workouts in, it's okay and not to beat yourself up about it, to just try again the next day. It's like every day's a new day and it's a fresh start. And so I like that. Um, one of my – another one of my biggest whys is, like, I know, like, a lot of people want to, like, bring in, like, a second income or, like, another income and stuff. But for me, it's not – like, I – I like doing this and I like money, but it's not for, I'm not doing it for the money. I'm doing it because I want other people to feel how I feel. I want other people to not feel like they're limited to anything that they can, they can dream whatever they want to dream and they can achieve it however they want to achieve it. So that's my life. Tiffany, I'm all the chills right now. I have all the feels. Um, Thank you for sharing and don't ever apologize for your kids running around because you know that any second somebody is going to ruin the call from my family. <laughs> so, um, thank you for sharing. That was so, so good. I needed Danielle. If you um, are there. Oh, there you are. Oh. There you. I think I'm here. I'm, I'm outside the dance studio and my daughter's inside. So, uh, uh, I think you're, you're breaking up a little bit. So that's one of the biggest ones for me is to eliminate that debt. I also want to help my husband in that, like, he'll work a million jobs so we can have the things that we want. But, like, I want to be the person who helps provide that as well. Um, so, like, I want to pay off our house and we have family that lives in another country. And I want to be able to just be like, yeah, we're going to go see them and not have to think about it and not have to worry about it. And then the other one um, for me is I'm a mom of two girls. So like weight's been an issue for me most of my life. And I don't want that for them. And I want them to see like healthy ways of, of 
caring about yourself and about caring about your body. And so I want to make sure that that's a message I'm sending um, to them. And, and if I get to help people along the way, like, great, that's fantastic. Like that's like extra and added in a, in a giant bonus for me. So. I love it. And we'd have dedication at the dance studio, like CEO mentality right there. Um, okay. So I love, I love hearing the why. So I'm now, I probably should have had you say it at the same time, but how, okay. So we have been inviting consistently minus one week in Vegas for Danica. We've been <laughs> inviting consistently, um, this month and I messaged Danielle privately, I think yesterday or maybe two days ago. I don't know what day of the week any life is, but I was like, girl, I see you doing the work. Like I see it happening. She's been checking in. Like everyone's been checking in. This isn't just a one. Like I am so ridiculously proud of you guys because the check-ins you're doing. And I know like if you don't check in one day, like it's not the end of the world because like we, we forget. But the, the point is, is that most days you guys are checking in with your invites and what you're doing and the things. And this is how you build momentum. Um, but it's what happens is, is when the momentum gets going and then it's kind of like Tiffany said with our workout, right? Like if you fall off for a day, like if you don't do invites or intentionally take the entire day off because everyone deserves a, a complete day to not do anything, um, is that you get right back in it. And it's like momentum is kind of easy to build at first, but then when we start to doubt ourselves is when it can get hard to keep going. So we've talked a lot about how your uh, business activity tracker is kind of a sliding scale. Like however you need to get your invites in, you need to get your invites in. So if you need to slide the scale to do a bunch of like initiating connections so that you feel comfortable doing an invite, then that's what you need to do. So I'm going to tell you that if you are not in success club, you need to slide that scale over to the follow-up. Um, I mean, it's the 20th. I'm still going to do new invites, but as you approach, like, I don't know, Brenda, like the 26th, 27th is when it's like full follow-up. It's like, full because think about the initial invite. It takes a little while to talk to them about it. So um, if I'm not in success club by the, like the last, I don't know, five to seven days of the month, I'm going through, I'm combing through my entire list and I am, there are a couple, a couple different follow-ups. First of all, where it says follow up with people and you've invited on your tracker. Um, I go back and I send a second message to everybody um, like regularly. So every two days or whatever, I'll go through my invites. And if you ghost me, I say, Hey girl, I'm not sure if you got my message. I just want you to know that I run a group every single month. Is there anything I can help you with? Again, that mentality that you're on my Instagram, you're watching my stuff. Can I help you? This is my business. Let me help you. And maybe all they want to know is like, I don't know, maybe I can just tell them to drink more water. It's still leaving an impact on their life. So, or, and then a lot of times they'll be like, Oh, I got your message, but you know, they'll either say I'm kind of interested or I'm not. But then I always still say like, are you, or they'll be like, you know what? I'm, I'm okay. When someone says they're not interested, I say, thanks so much for getting back to me. Um, sometimes I'm like, I love your page. And I'll say, are you already rocking your health and fitness journey? Sometimes people say, yeah, I'm like, I'm on a great schedule and I'm doing it. So my mission is to empower women to live their best lives. So if you're already rocking your health and fitness journey, I'm going to tell you like, good job. So proud for you. And then I'm going to write your name down because maybe you would be a great coach one day. But in that moment, I'm not going to go from like, hey, you want to join a fit camp to like, hey, you want to be a coach? Like, no, I'm smart. I'm going to circle their name, add them to my tracker. And then later I'm going to be like, hey, how is CrossFit going? Um, and you know, a lot of times people aren't moms yet or something. And then like, maybe they become a mom and they're like, well, I used to go to the gym all the time. Um, and now I can't get, I'm not, you know, able to do it. So whatever the connections are still going. Um, a lot of times people will say, actually, I can't get into a schedule. I just feel super overwhelmed and I don't know what to do. Now, when people are like that, they're probably not going to join the fit camp. Like here's my money. But again, I'm circling their name and I understand their pain point. I understand, okay, they're really overwhelmed. So I need to talk about how I get it, get in my workout easily 
um, on my stories or on my posts or something like that. So I go back and I answer or I re-message everybody. Then people who are like, well, send me more info. Sometimes those conversations fizzle out, right? Like it's kind of like they're not answering or like maybe you just like, there's like, eh, you're kind of like forcing it. Um, I still go back. I still go back because um, I remember that I was somebody who never checked into my challenge group at all before I was a coach. I did not check in. I was like the worst challenger. I didn't drink my Shakeology. And knowing that somebody was still there for me uh, motivated me. I've had people um, right here who said no or didn't answer me or all of this, all of the above. <laughs> um, and I just kept coming around because I believe in like such a proud coach moment, you know, like to hear all of you guys say like, I just want women to feel like I feel, which is so good. And it's like, God, like what an amazing mission that we're on right now. It's like, we're just trying to help. <laughs> it's okay. Danielle. Like seriously, no hard feelings. <laughs> Everyone did. Um, but I, but that's like, that's okay. That's it. So, um, the follow-up. So you need, so slide that scale over to the follow-up. Yeah. What if I hadn't invited you guys and Brenda? Okay. Here's really funny. Like not just not to trail off, but the other day Brenda was like, you didn't even invite me. And I was like, Brenda, yes, I did. You were on my, you were in my funnel. And she was like, no, you didn't invite. Did I say no? And I was like, yes. And she like, didn't even remember. Like, because I mean, I guess I was being like, I don't know, in a good way, I guess I was being like kind of stealth about it, but like, you were super stealth. I think also because, and that's something to maybe keep in mind is like when we say no, cause we're not ready. Like we don't like hold on to that. I think sometimes when we invite people are like, they're going to think we're so awkward now. No, we said no, cause we're not ready. And then it moves along with our lives. So when I said yes, it was like, okay. I said yes, because I was obsessing about it for three months. Like that's why I was ready to say yes. But I, I guess I said no numerous times. I blacked all of it out. I don't know what happened. She I was also did. drinking a lot at that time frame in my life. She so. really did. And so, but. like, yeah, what if I hadn't? And, like, anyway, so a couple things really fast is that right now in the, in the end of the month is, like, where you have to, you kind of have to up your efforts and up your personal development. So this is where I'm like, you got to go hard on like Brene Brown, Rachel Hollis, whatever, because fear is going to start to creep in whatever our like limiting belief or whatever those feelings that just kind of naturally come up. Naturally, what comes up for me is, um, this isn't really going to work. This whisper that's like, you're kind of doing this and, and nobody wants to join like this self doubt will come up in my ear. And so what you have to do, what you have to combat that with is personal development. You need to fuel yourself. Now, as we get going in this business and as this level up leadership is going to continue for the whole year until we're elite, we're going to talk about how you can shift that. And so instead of waiting till the end of the month and upping your personal development, upping your efforts, is that what we do now is what I do is I do that the first week of the month so that I like nail in my initial things that I have to nail in. And then, um, then the rest of the month is kind of, I don't want to say easier, but kind of easier. However, in all of 2018, <laughs> I was the last week of the month kind of girl where I was like, Oh shit, here we go. Like I remember November, I didn't make success club. I specifically remember July because I was crying. Um, that I didn't make success club till the very last day. November, I didn't make success club till the last day. October, I know, or was it September? Whatever month Joni was, she was like my last one. And it was the very end of the month. Cause she, I know, cause she gets paid at the end of the month. So like, I know that last year was like, I was the end of the month. So you need to remember that. Are you willing to do the work? How bad do you want this? Because I, when I literally sit and I have this that I do every morning and it doesn't matter what you do. Like I, you know, Rachel Hollis talks about it. Moira is a top coach. She made one specifically for coaches. They're all really great. But every morning I write down my 10 biggest dreams and then I write five things I'm grateful for. Or I write my one focus and then five things I'm grateful for. And then in the very back of the book, um, I'm visualizing the life that I really want. And it's not something that, um, 
I like when someone's like visualize the life you want, like at first I was like, what the F does that even mean? <laughs> like, I was like, I don't know. I'm not there yet. So I, it's been a slow, slow, right. Where I've been like, Oh, that's what I want. Because when you visualize it happening is like how you can envision like that it's coming as opposed to visualizing the things that are not happening. So, um, but in that visualization, every day I close my eyes and I look and I think of all the hard work it's going to take. So I envision myself getting up at 4.30 in the morning because most days I get up at 4.30. I try. And um, staying up late and being super intentional and talking. And I have visualized communicating with John like, hey, tonight's date night, tomorrow night, I'm answering messages and I'm doing things next to you on the couch. So it's time this is the time of the month to start really, really pushing and really, really remembering why you're doing this. So another tip is that have you gone to your, you know, what we call the war market, the, the, the people closer to you in life? Um, because I think on two calls ago or something, someone asked how, like how long did it take you to consistently make success club? And I do think that a huge part of my success in the beginning of the business was that I was not scared to go to people that I already knew and said, hey, I'm doing this. Do you want to do it with me? Um, and then when they said yes, I then followed up and said, hey, no, hey, do you want to do this with me? My first coach, Shannon, she was a friend. And I was like, I really think that you could build something you want. But either way. I would really love it if you supported me and became my first coach um, because one, you're going to get a discount. And two, if you ever want to build this, we could do it together. Um, and then I made my husband. So I went emeralds. And when we think of, oh my gosh, how am I going to, when, when we think about signing up our spouse, it's like, how am I going to, gosh, how am I going to like keep my account floating and their account floating. Like, how am I supposed to do that? And let me tell you, that's a limiting mindset that in your mind, you've already decided that not only do you not have enough people coming in, but you're not going to be able to afford that. And I'm definitely not saying like, take out a second mortgage shield and grow this business. But do you like energize? Have you always wanted to try recover? Have you always wanted to try beach bars? Um, that is what goes through my second account. Um, are those things for me. Um, and you don't need, um, you only need to be on home direct Shakeology. So auto or home direct something when you are looking for the success club prizes, because that is, um, a requirement when you are making success club, like when you want the prize, um, is that you sign, you know, a minimum of three people up with a challenge pack. And also you have, your own HD direct of 90 PV points. When you are just trying to keep a coach active, that's 50 PV points. So that's energize and recover or energize and hydrate or beach bars. And that's exactly what I do. So when you're like, this is kind of an emerald push call, but not really an emerald push call, but we're leveling up. And a lot of you said you want to be emerald by the end of the month. And so have you gone through the people who already like like you, love you, and trust you. Um, because it's okay to say to your sister or your brother or um, your mother or your mother-in-law or whatever, because we all have different controlled accounts, let me tell you. Um, we would, yeah. <laughs> yes, yeah. So, or like your friends or people who have been around for a long time that, you, that have seen you doing this success and it's like, hey, I would really love you to do this with me. Um, I want to get you the discount so you save money. And if you hate it, you can cancel it or you can get your money back because you're really not like, what is the risk? There is no risk. If someone comes in and does 21 day fix and does it and drinks the entire bag of Shakeology and is like, I effing hate this, they can return it. Like literally return it because we have a bottom of the bag guarantee because that is what Beachbody believes. Beachbody believes if you are investing your money and you hate it, you should get your money back. That is good customer service. So um, it is time to hustle. So usually we do this on Sundays. We talk about our schedule for the week and we talk about our social media posts. Well, it's Saturday. <laughs> so tomorrow, you guys as the CEO need to sit down and do that. 
And then I'm going to have like an accountability post. It's like, <clears throat> if you want to share your pic, like take a picture and share it so that the accountability is on you, um, that you have a social media plan. If you have not filled your challenge group or our challenge group, cause I still have, I still need people too. I'm going to talk about challenge groups. I'm going to continue to shout out people on my Instagram stories. If I, you know, I'm going to talk about the things that I need to talk about and I'm going to make a plan. Brenna this week wrote out all of her posts ahead of time and they were really good. And that is a lot of work in the beginning, but she will tell you that then her days were going like this because she had it planned. She had it going. She literally wrote them out. Um, and I suggest writing them out after like, you know, you like jam out to some personal development and you're feeling all the feels. and like this morning I got up and I just put Rachel, I just now turn on personal development when I'm getting ready. So when I'm like literally like rubbing the sandman's out of my eyes and stumbling around in the dark, I already have personal development going because I want to really get that in. Um, so plan out your stuff, be the CEO. And then next, I want you to start having a conversation with your spouse. This is the next level up thing we're doing. Okay, I want you to say, hey, babe, this is my goal by the end of the month, whatever that is, is that, you know, is that em Emerald and Success Club should be it for sure. Um, this is my goal. This is what I need to make it happen. But what, uh, what do you need for me? What does your week look like? Um, you know, like I, through these conversations, because I am not the best at this, you guys. Like, I am a great communicator to everyone but my husband. Um, that is something we're seriously working on because um, I feel it's the most vulnerable to tell John things because his opinion matters the most to me. So I actually just avoid that. All up until the end of 2018, I literally never told him how much I made in Beachbody or anything um, because I didn't know what his opinion would be. And that made me nervous. So, one thing that we I learned through these meetings is that cause I was getting frustrated. Like he was never coming home when I wanted him to come home. He'd like randomly come home on a different day. And I was like, well, why aren't you coming home early on like team call night? You know, but I'm not communicating that. And so he was, then I found out that like, Oh, he has a really big meeting every Thursday. Every Thursday, he has a huge meeting that he plans, which is why he stays late on Wednesdays. And then like through these conversations of him, Hey, what, what do you need? What do I need? Um, how are we going to make this work? together. Um, and it's a, it's a growing thing, but he is learning about the business very frequently. He's like, okay, so what is that again? Like, I'll be like, Hey, I made success club or Hey, I did this. And he's like, okay. And that is like, he's like trying, but has no idea, but the conversations have to start. So whether that's a friend, a spouse, um, whatever it is, I want you tomorrow to have the conversation and then pick the ninth because you're not in success club yet. So you need to up your efforts that you are going to be like popping in headphones and like jamming out to some gangster rap to make you feel like a badass boss. And, and, and sending those messages like, and go back to the people who fizzled out. Hey, I still have room in my, in my April fit camp and I would so love to have you let them know that you want them there. Um, or go back to someone who's like, I just don't know. It sounded like a no, but it wasn't a firm no. And they're like, I just don't really have the money. Hey girl, I've been really thinking about you. And I think that you would love this group because yes, you're investing this much money, but here, let me break it down for you. So you understand what it is because sometimes people hear, right? We hear $160 and you're like, girl, I don't have effing money for that. Are you kidding me? Then when you say, well, you're actually getting your gym for the whole year. Oh, and you're getting this nutrition program that like is going to educate you how you are going to learn to eat food and how you're going to understand sugar addiction. And if you want to add it, um, you can actually add, you know, this and that, like whatever. So when they, when you break it down, like I just had a girl who she bought the challenge pack when I was on the cruise because she was like, I'm so sick of feeling like this. And if I had not messaged her, she was like, I've been too scared to message you because I said no too many times. And I was like, let's get you going. So she ordered and then I know her Shakeology is coming up. And so I was like, Hey girl, like, how you doing? Do you want to get the discount? And she was like, we might as well, because if I stop, I'll never get back on the train. Like we just need to keep it going. And I was like, hell yeah, let's do it. And she's like, I just keep trying to tell myself 
that at most it's $35 a week. And she's like, and that is so much more doable than thinking 130 for the month. And she did that on her own. And I was like, yes, girl. Um, so this is how, you know, but we have to get people in. And sometimes in the beginning, you have to lean on some friends and some family to say like, Hey, I need people in my groups. I need people I need practice. I need you to do this. I need you to do like, who does, Brenna's mom does yoga. Mom, I need you to do yoga because I need like someone to do it and for you to tell me what it's about so that I can tell people. You know, I told my dad because I'm building his account. He is welcome. And I was like, dad, I need you to drink Chicology every day so that you can have a transformation. And he was like, okay. And he's like, well, can you tell me how to make it? And I was like, of course. Um, but I, you know, you got to sometimes lean on people. So what else did I have written down? So, okay, keep going. This is my last like little, what time is it? I hear, oh, no, we have time. Okay, so um, this month, right? How many seeds have you planted? Like how many people have you invited? Do you know, um, or give a ballpark in your mind because you guys have been upping your efforts. So I write, don't, I, uh, this is a suggestion. Don't just check off the box that you did your invites on your success cup tracker. Write down how many, um, because how many seeds have you planted? Because most of you are kicking out at least five a day, sometimes 10. So you're probably approaching about a hundred invites this month. How many seeds is that? That's a lot of effing seeds. And sometimes those seeds aren't ready to bloom but you're gonna keep watering them. So every time you post a workout or every time you get on and they hear your voice and you're like, well, yes, it's so funny. Yesterday I dropped truth. I like complain about Cami and everybody messages me. And then, you know, sometimes I talk about a challenge group and nobody messages me, you know, like, um, but they hear your voice and they hear your intention and they hear your heart. And you say like, Hey, you know what? I'm actually going to you a lot of questions about this. Hey guys, guess what? When I do that, nobody has, nobody has asked me that question. Okay. Nobody has asked me that question. <laughs> I say I'm getting a lot of questions because I'm imagining myself as a 15 star diamond and people sending me questions. I'm not actually <laughs> getting those questions right now. So, I mean, sometimes I really do, but it's not to the level I say it is. So but then I, I explained things. I explained hesitations that I had. So I think of what was Samantha worried about before she joined. And then I'm, I play that out. Like I asked me future me and future me responds to past me. And I do it in an Instagram story and let people know like that you, that people are asking these questions. And here are some things like, Hey, I just saw Paula. She's on team forward fitness. And she was like, Hey, I'm getting this question. She was like, but when you join a fit camp with me, like the price that you pay is like for the entire year. She's like, so you're going to not only get this boot camp for that price. She's like, but then you and I are going to do May together and June together in July. And she's like, you were enrolled. She's like, so if that was a, a concern for you, just know that, um, you know, included in that price is not just fitness coaching for a month, that's fitness coaching for a year. And so I was like, oh, okay, that's a great way to say it. So looking to other people for ideas is not a bad thing. Um, okay. So, oh, I was saying about the seeds. So the seeds that you have right now are going to bloom if you keep going. Now, keep going because if we keep pushing in May like this, and then you have at minimum 200 invites in there, and then the next month you have 300 invites, that's what you have to think about this is, is that in the beginning, you kind of just borrow the love of your family because you're like, you need to help me do this thing, or your best friend or whoever, but that's not for forever. And if they end up quitting, that's okay because a limiting mindset says, oh my gosh, I can barely get three people. A abundance mindset says so many people are going to join my fit camps, but they have to join when they're ready. So, so many people are going to do it. And if, you know, um, a limiting mindset says, I'm not going to be able to keep my husband's coach account active. Um, uh, an abundance mindset says it's okay because I'm going to make sure I make 50 extra dollars so I can buy something additional on that account. Um, or like, remember you're the, you're the CEO of your business. If your husband can only pay the coach fee and has to go inactive one month, like we've all been there. You know, I'm not like, I just need you to know that like my husband was inactive for like 
you, you play it, right? Because if an abundance mindset says you're already going to sign another coach and you can put another coach under your husband so that he can go inactive when you need him to until, because that's what happened. My husband made me Emerald. And then the second I signed a coach underneath him, he went inactive until I needed him to go diamond. And then he went back active and then I built him to Emerald. So an abundance mindset says, I have so many people want to join my team and it's okay because the people that get you to Emerald are not going to get you to diamond. And the people that get you to diamond are not going to get you to two star. And we love, and we love, love, love everybody. And everybody is on their own path, but your dream is more important than worrying about when people are ready and you have to keep hustling. And it doesn't matter because an abundance mindset says I'm signing coaches every month. A limiting mindset says, oh my gosh, please don't leave me. You have to stay. I need, I need you to stay to help me. No, you are the CEO and you have so many people who want to join your fit camp. You have so many people who want to join your boot camp. You have so many people who are going to join this team and join this mission for you to grow this empire, but they're never going to join you if you don't ask and if you don't go back and follow up. So tell me how we're feeling. Um, are you feeling fired up? Are you feeling like you're about to go do a bunch of follow-ups? You're going to put on some gangster rap. I suggest, um, well, it's not gangster rap, but say my name radio on Pandora is pretty bomb. If you like some, you know, early 2000, like destiny's child and that kind of stuff, um, pop in the headphones, set a timer for an hour. And in that hour, go through your list, comb through follow up with people, um, like reconnect with what you're doing. Cause sometimes for me, at least I'm doing all the things. And then like, I have to just take a second to like, look back and be like, okay, where am I at in my list? Who am I, who's falling through the cracks? Who was interested or who's been still liking my stuff, but ghosted me. Sometimes you just have to like take some time to reconnect. Um, and then do it. So you will have challengers this week, Danielle. You will have challengers. You will all have challengers. You will all be in success club. It is not a question. Don't, it is not a question. Keep telling yourself, I am in success club. I am in success club. So many people want to join my team. So many people want to join my team. A question really fast. Um, cause I know this is going to come up. Uh, if you want to sign up your husband with um, if you want to sign your husband or your spouse or whoever, you do not have to sign them up with a challenge pack. Um, you would just have to pay the $40, but if you have beach body on demand, like there's not really a need for them to have beach body on demand. Um, you can do, um, like to start them off, you can do like, um, a performance back pack, um, like that, that will waive the $40 fee, but you have to play with it you know, it's, it's kind of, you have to play with the cost. If you end up just paying the $40 and then getting something later on our ultimate portion fix or something like that. Um, I did, or I told someone recently to do like, uh, energize and recover. Cause you can just buy that in a pack. Or if you want one extra month of Shakeology, like you can get success club points. Like you can, you can, there's a way to finagle it, but, um, it just takes a little bit more effort and a little bit more money to figure it out. Or you can just pay $40 and then get whatever you are looking for. Actually two boxes. What is it, Brenna? Two boxes of beach bars is, is a success club point or is it three? It will tell you, it will tell you in there, but there is a way to get beach bars, um, sign up as a coach and, um, get a success club point or whatever. So I hope you're feeling fired up. I hope that you're going to go message a bunch of people. And I hope also you work really hard today with intention so that if you are an Easter person, uh, tomorrow you intentionally are with your family and that you're unplugged and that you're refueling your, your family time and your heart time. Uh, but I don't think it's like, Hey, you have to work hard to take time off. Like, no, I, I believe that you just have to do both, but because you just need to do both, like you're going to take tomorrow off anyways, probably <laughs> that work hard today so that you can more relax. You can have a more relaxed feeling of, um, like, Hey, I, um, I'm just clocked out because I know when I, and turn your messages off on your phone, like notifications should be off on all of your phone, Instagram, Facebook, that should be off because if you are not working, you should not be thinking about work because you have other things to think about, like your job and your, in your life. Um, and then when it is time to work, you open your app and then you have all these messages because so many people want to join your team. So that's it for what I'm going to say. Brenda, do you have anything? I just wanted to remind you guys that 
as you're going through this process, I've been so proud of every single one of you. And some of you I've met, like, we've had conversations one-on-one. -on -one. Some of you guys I haven't. Um, but watching this team kind of unfold has been amazing because I know some of you who I've spoken with personally, the idea of doing five invites was, like, the most anxious, hives, like, overwhelming thing. And not only have you guys been doing that, but you've been doing that consistently and maybe even pushing yourself. So at this point, you've ripped off that Band-Aid. You've proven to yourself that you can do it and that you're not going to die. It's going to be great. People are going to respond. And the worst that's going to happen is they're going to say no, right? Like, that is it. So that was part of the goal in this Level Up Leadership. And so I'm going to challenge you with the follow-ups and the invites because I'm somebody who I'm a believer on, like, Maybe this is why I struggle in life sometimes because I like throw myself head first and I'm like, well, we'll see what happens, you know, and that's not always the best mentality. But with this, you guys have proven yourself that you can do it. You have done it and you are proof that you can now teach somebody else to do it because you've been there. So this week, not only like Sam said, I'm challenging you to do the follow up because the follow up, the money is in the follow up, guys. The initial invite, we've all talked about this. The initial invite, like, let's just check it off because we know it's going to be a no and move into the follow up because that's where it really is. Um, but the more you are pushing yourselves to up those numbers, the more you're pushing yourselves to consistently share, to rip off all those band-aids, rip them off now. Cause then in a year from now, when you're running your own team, you're going to look at your girls and be like, I ripped off those band-aids. I showed up. I pushed myself to do uncomfortable things every single day. And now I'm looking back saying, I'm so thankful that I did. And if you hadn't done it, you know, where you would be in your business. So you guys are all showing up because you want to take it to the next level and you guys have already started to do that. And now I'm going to challenge you because I am that person to say, so going into this next week, how are you going to organize yourself to where you can rip off another band-aid? How you can push yourself to do a little bit more? How you can show up maybe in a different way? Something that is in your gut that is like making you super nervous to do this week is the week that you do it. Just do it now because I'm telling you the worst that's going to happen is you're going to look back and you're going to be like, Check it off my things of uncomfortable things I do. Every single day in this business, we show up and do uncomfortable things. Um, and that's what makes us those better, stronger, more confident women. We're adding those little nuggets into our confidence bin. Um, so this week, whatever your goal was last week, if it was five invites, I'm going to challenge you to do eight. If your goal this week was to, you know, follow up with five people, I'm going to challenge you to follow up with 10. Like whatever your goal was last week, coming into the end of this month, you need to double it. And you need to get excited about doubling it. And whatever that means for your time frames, that means now you get up five more minutes early, or if that means you go to five minutes later, or whatever it is, challenge yourself because that's when those big dreams and those big goals happen um, this month, but also in like three months from now, guys. I know nobody wants to be a brand new coach forever. And in three months from now, you're going to be at a different place in your business. But the work you do now is what's going to get you there. If you don't do the work now, you will literally be in the same place and you'll be spinning your wheels over the same things. And I know each and every single one of you wasn't in this group because you wanted to be in the exact same place you are now in three months. So I appreciate you guys jumping on super early. I know, it's truth bomb for the morning. Um, I'm about to go work out. If any of you guys want to do a live core to force workout, let me know. Our team's going to jump on at seven and do it. And I can send you guys the Zoom link. Um, but I'm so proud of you guys. I'm like blown away by all of you. And I know Sam, I always tell her, I'm like, I feel like your girls are my girls. I hope that's okay because I always like watch you guys and, you know, you guys inspire me and push me because we are one in the same. We are. We're our one, one big team. One big team. So, um, yeah, let's do a pick boomerang. Especially, and feel free to like put a little emoji over like my face. The remote is in the You know, I know. I'm just saying, or a heart. You can do a twerking girl, whatever you want. It's fine with me. I support it. A twerking girl. Okay. No offense, Erica. I will do the boomerang. <laughs> You're officially cut off from boomerangs officially for life. All right. One, two, three. Oh, that was a picture? I thought we were boomeranging. Oh, it's a boomerang. Oh. Okay. My first thing. All I can do is move my head. Oh. <laughs> Got it. Got it. Doing the best I can. I have a baby on the boob. So. Okay. And, and then he just, he just unlatched and went like this. Why are you talking ish, mom? Are you talking? Well, get it together, Cannon. Okay, let's do a photo. Uh, hold on. I'm the worst. I should not be on this photo right now. All right, one, two, three. Hi, baby. I love it. Hi, baby. You're awesome. 
Okay, so one last truth bomb. So here's the thing is that probably if you're in this group, you're thinking about your business all of the time. You're thinking about, oh, I should do it. I should do this. Stop shoulda, woulda, couldn't. Just do it. Like, watch it for an hour, two hours, and then let your mind watch reality TV. And then that's how it starts. You can't think like, oh my gosh, I need to work for six hours. No, no, no. Later, yeah, later when you're when you're pushing for five star, yeah, you probably need to work more than one hour. But in the beginning, just do it for an hour, two hours, and then clock out, spend time with your family, like watch your shows, do your things, go to happy hour, but clock in for the time so that you can let your mind rest. Because right now you're probably thinking about your business for like five hours a day. And if you would just do it for two, you would be done. So I love you. Have an amazing week and Easter. And I'll post something tomorrow that's like post your social media plan, your schedule, and how your conversation with your spouse or, um, you know, closest person to you went. Love you guys. Have a great week.